Good one. Not she's not not a fiver, but she's a good one. Boy, some of those fish are really down deep, deep, and holy mackerel! Look at that. <laughs> this is really fun. Yeah, you know when you get the thing about this time of year, these fish bunch up so heavy. Yeah, yeah, you know they start getting together in big, big schools, and they'll stay that way. This is the magic temperature around 45, 46, where they bunch up so good. You know we're talking about this handful of baits that we prefer, and I mean it really is a handful. And uh, uh, these are the baits and a little bit about uh, 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 the rods and reels that we use for these particular baits. And it is about as simple as it can get. Chilly water, and when I mean chilly, I'm talking water temperatures of 45 degrees and dropping. That's when your bait selection really gets pretty small, just like the fish's strike zone. This is gonna be short and sweet. Number one, a jig like the Terminator finesse jig, tipped with a big bite swimming craw. Keep the size as light as you can get away with and still maintain some bottom content. Drop speed is critical at this time frame. Number two, the Rapala Shadow Wrap, deep or shallow. It all depends on the depth of the fish. The big thing is you want the jerk bait shape with a slow sink. The Shadow Wrap is a one of a kind. You can count the bait down, get it to the depth, and make it dance in place. And that's what triggers the bites. Number three, a VMC Spin Shot and Big Bite Shaky Squirrel. This bait is so effective because of its efficiency. You can fish it right on the spot, on the spot. And that subtle plastic stays right in the strike zone. Now with all of these presentations, you can fish with a bait casting or a spinning rod, whatever you're most comfortable with. Jim is primarily fishing with a seven foot, one inch St. Croix Legend Tournament Series and a 2500 Daiwa Ballistic with eight pound test Suffolk 832. It's a white braid and he's got a 10 pound floral leader. The white line allows you to line watch for those delicate bites. I'm fishing with a St. Croix Legend Elite 6 foot 10 inch rod with a 6.3 Daiwa Tatula reel and 10 pound Suffolk fluorocarbon. Whichever you decide to fish with, you ain't gonna go wrong.